welcome back. I am Lois Houston. I thought I would share with you guys today a little bit about my planner stash, um, decorations, pens, tools, things like that, and all of the things that I use and how I keep them organized. Um, I am more of a functional planner than I am a decorative planner. So even though you see stickers and stuff like that here, um, I don't really use a lot of it in my planners. I do more things to, I guess, highlight and accent than really all out decorating. For me personally, the all out decorating sticker heavy spreads are more distracting and visually and I forget uh, to look at the things that I need to be looking at for planning versus the pretty stuff. So um, that's just not my style, but I thought I would share with you guys what I do use and maybe a couple samples of how I use that. So just to start out with, um, we'll go ahead and I guess start with stickers and stuff just to show you what little bit of stickers and stuff I use. I am pretty much a dedicated Coco Daisy subscriber, have been a Coco Daisy subscriber for probably five or six years at least. Um, and they have these nifty sticker albums that they include in their kits occasionally. And you can see I use the heck out of them. Um, this is my second one that I'm starting to fill up. And um, most of the stickers that are in here are Coco Daisy stickers, but that's one of the things I like about it is I can keep a whole month's worth of their themed stickers together. So um, I just stick the whole month's worth in the pocket and then I know everything related to that month is coordinated is together. And if I want to go back to a previous month's pull stickers or use something that is in the same color family, it's all right there for me. So um, yeah, that's what most of my stickers are. Um, I do have a few random other stickers from other places that are stuck in here. I don't use very much, but I do have a few. Um, the other thing I have in here, which I mentioned in a couple other videos, are these index stickers, which I absolutely love. They're Midori uh, index stickers that I got from Jet Pens, and I love these in my Habanichi Weeks, especially because they're very small and minimal, and um, they don't take up a lot of space, and yet it's, it makes it easy for you to index. So those are in here. Um, Honey Inked is another uh, shop that I like because of her minimal look. Uh, Faye Creates is one that I've used. And of course, Planner Kate. Everybody uses Planner Kate, I'm sure, at some point. Um, so yeah, just a bunch of small stickers that I've got stuck in here. And then these never fit. I wish they would create a book big enough to hold these, the Coco Daisy folks. If you're listening, Christine, it would be nice to have a, a book big enough to hold those, too, because um, they always get bent in the back. So this is another one. This one, I stuck a notepad in here just because it was so pretty, and I didn't use it very much that month, so I kept it there. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much how my stickers look and the stickers that I have. I don't use a lot of stickers, and I pretty much just use Coco Daisy, and I love the fact that they all coordinate. So when I use them, I know everything is consistent. The other ones that I use, if I use anything, and these are old, several years old, but they're from the Happy Planner Mini. And I just ripped out the pages that I might be most frequently using and put them together in a stack. And what I do with these is I stick them in this little tote, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, that they fit right there in the middle really nicely. And so then I have them handy. Um, this is my other, if I'm not using this, so the sticker album becomes more of like an archive for me. The things I'm actively using in the month, I use one of the to Coco Daisy totes. And Christine has been fantastic about giving us these in our subscriptions um, several times. I think I have three or four of them. And they're perfect for holding stickers. So I stick everything I'm going to use for the month in here. And then I know when I go, if I go in like to the living room or something with my family to watch a movie, I could take this with me and work in my planner and I don't have a whole bunch of stuff. Everything's in one place. I can even stick, you know, my pen. Um, I've got a little scissors down here. I've got the washi tape that comes, you know, with the kit for the month. Everything is in here and coordinated. And if I'm traveling, which I had done a lot of traveling um, 
last year, not 2021, but in 2019. And the nice thing was I could just stick this in my carry-on bag and I had everything in one place. So this is what I use uh, for my, whatever I'm using for the month. I just stick everything in here at the beginning of the month and I don't really go anywhere else except for here. Um, and then the other thing that I have is this monster, which is from um, uh, Michael's. And it's several years old, probably 10 years old at least, but I love it because it's compact. It's um, got lots of pockets for organization. And if I wanna take it in the living room with me, I can. And um, I really just leave it sitting on my desk just like you see it and um, access it all day long. Um, and what I tend to do is I pick, like for December, I picked these four Tombos that I was gonna use for the month in terms of colors. And I kept those in there. I've got all my mild liners you can see in here that I use for my color coding. My favorite pens, which, um, yeah, I have a lot of favorite pens. Um, so there's a lot of pens in here. Um, mostly the Uniball Signo, which I really like. Um, Sharpie pen, because who cannot have a Sharpie pen? Um, the Pilot G2.38. This is great in the Hobonichi. Um, Sarasa, Zebra Sarasa. These are the vintage colors. I have two or three of these that I'm using right now that I really like. And I, I think I have a green one somewhere. Um, this one I've been using in my work bullet journal, the Uniball Vision Elite. It's a little fat for um, what I like in the Hobonichi, but it works fine in my work bullet journal. Um, this is another one that I use in my work bullet journal because I can color code on the go. Let's see, a uh, tool, which I don't even think has a tool insert. I think this has another pen refill in it, but the pen, the pen body itself is just so pretty. I've got several of my Coco Daisy pens because, you know, each month I'd get one and so I'd stick it in here to use. Um, the Pilot Multiball, which I've told you guys about, this is the pen to use if you don't want any smearing. Um, it will not smear, dries very quickly. Um, and I really like it. It's just a little fat. I wish they made an ultra fine in that. I would be so happy. Another Coco Daisy pen, which these, I don't like the Coco Daisy gel ink that they provide. So I get my own refills. That It's a D1 refill you can get from Jet Pens. And I put those in there. And I usually get the um, one, the Uni Jet Stream refill so that I can use it in my Hobonichi. And here's a Uni Jet Stream pen. Um, unfortunately, those refills don't fit in here. I wish they did because the ones that go in here are so tiny. Um, the Hobonichi pen, of course. Pencil, and that that's pretty much it. Um, you know, there's a few other random things in here like a um, Pigma Micron, but mostly those are the pens that I use on a regular basis. I have some adhesive in this pocket um, that's uh, removable that I can use to stick things in my planner. Over here, I have my, I can get it, I have a, a, a whiteout because I'm kind of obsessive about whiting stuff out. Um, my favorite ruler, which I've used so much, the, the cork has come off the back, the stainless steel ruler. I love it because you can tear um, washi tape with it, um, but I don't like it for measuring because you can't see through it. So I have this one for measuring things. That's another Westcott, but it's plastic not so good for um, using for cutting washi tape. In the front here, I've just got some random uh, index cards, and this was a, uh, for my A6 rings that I was using for a while. Um, scissors are over here. I've got two different ones. These little tiny um, ones that I use for ribbons and some fine work, and then these that I use for most everything else. And then on this side, I have colored pens. Um, and these I use, I kind of come ebb and flow with them. I love the Papermate flares, but um, they're so fat that it drives me crazy. And so I also got some of the fine tip Papermate flares, ultra fines. These I love, and I do use these uh, quite a bit. Um, and I'm planning for 2021 to do the same thing that I had been doing with the Tombos and pick a couple that would be my color of the month. In my work bullet journal, 
I always do that. I have one color that I use for the month and I use that to do a line at the top of the page for each day um, or wherever the page break is or day change is. And that way I know like January would be blue and February would be pink and March would be green and April would be purple or whatever in that way. As I'm flipping through my work bullet journal, I know um, what what month I was making notes in. Um, this has nothing to do with planning. This is cuticle serum, but it's handy and easy for me to access. Um, and then in the middle here, I have a couple of cards. Uh, when I find a cute card, I buy it and I stick it in here in that way. Then if I want to send a card to a friend, I have it handy and I can write a note. So that's pretty much everything I have in here. Um, I don't think I even have anything in this micro pocket. Oh, post there's where those things are. Um, Post-it flags. No wonder I couldn't find them the other day. I put them away. Um, so yeah, so that's it. That's my the extent of my embellishment and planner supply organization. Now, this is very misleading because this looks like I don't have a whole lot of stuff. If you were in my office and you looked in, uh, to the right of where this camera is over here, you would see that I have a... Um, rolling cart that is about four feet tall and every single drawer is packed to the gills with stuff um, but most of it is stuff that I don't use on a regular basis but I haven't yet um, embraced minimalism to the point that I'm ready to give it up but this is the stuff that I use all the time and um, everything over there is more of just storage and just in case I ever decide I want to use it again um, so I have over there things like my packing tape a whole plethora of pens because I'm a pen addict even more so than a stationary addict um previous Coco Daisy kits covers from my Hobonichi um super glue that kind of stuff is pretty much what's over there um and I just keep it all in that rolling cart um so it's easy for me to access and easy for me to find um other than that, in terms of organization, the only other thing that I have is one of those um, shelves that have the, the Lucite drawers that you get from Michaels, and I put my washi tape in that. Um, a couple of the drawers in the cart over here have shoe boxes with washi tape in them, because when you have subscribed to Coco Daisy for as many years as I have and you get two rolls a month, you tend to accumulate a lot of washi tape. Um, I don't buy washi tape any other place anymore. I used to, but now I don't. I don't buy stickers pretty much any much anywhere anymore. Everything is from them. Um, I get enough that I don't need anything else. So um, that's it. What do you do for your organization? Are you a minimalist? Are you over the top? Do you have a lot of stuff or do you have a little bit of stuff? Or are you just getting started and you wish you had more stuff? Um, let me know in the comments as to, you know, how you keep track of yours. Um, I have found over the years that this, this works best for me because I can take this in the living room and put it on the table next to my chair, watch a movie with my family, and not have a whole big mess of stuff that I have to carry back and forth, which is why I use this uh, little setup. I've been doing this for about two years. Um, I hope that this helps anybody that was interested and um, I will share more videos with you soon. Thanks for watching.